took you long enough. Zip it. Man, you speak when we tell you to speak. Show them, boss. I'm not really sure they're gonna like your comedy routine in jail. You're the one that Naomi most talks about. You talking to him or me? Are you related to Yasmin? See, the difference between you and that woman? That woman knows how to keep people in check. He's talking to you, Lieutenant. Be sure about that. Start. We don't know who's watching, Captain. You earned yourself a star of gallantry for you, or was it? It's very heroic. Being the daughter of a crime boss. And serving in the military. Oh, what? Your military buddies didn't know you had a second career. Your daughter's. Is she after money? Because the answer's no. Bring it up here. So you do know where to find. You're gonna finish last, you know, giving away everything. Your most valuable thing, your time, gone. Giving away to others for free. Nothing comes for free. It's okay to help others succeed. What if you're the evil? For giving your time to those that cause pain to others. I don't measure success the way you do, Stella. By the amount of lives lost or people injured. Why do you think that we're put in boxes all of our lives by people we will never meet? Only to be buried at the end of it all in a box. I'm done playing by the rules that mass media puts on me. Once again, you sell heaters. And now you're preaching to me about using your voice for good. I don't care what you do with your voice, Stella. In the end, it doesn't matter what you do with yours. It's not only for you. Your haters are under the table, by the way. You are. Nobody crosses me. Ready when you are, boss. Just go. That's what you're after, you? What? Put your weapons down. You never did listen, did you? Even as a child. You know what? As a mother, you really missed the beat. Always with the self-pity. There's a nightclub on 36th Street. Find Hunter. Get me the growls, and we will pretend this little shinding didn't happen. Whatever happened to being done with society? Doing good with the time you have. You'll see. They open in two hours, Stella.
So you're the loud one, hey? You looking to buy? Oh, no. I'm not really the nightclub type. Why? Sit. Fancy a drink? I don't drink with strangers. You really fooled me with your line outside. Well, it's only, eh? We don't have prostitutes in this. This ain't a track. I tell you what, you get rid of the rumours and you can put whatever name you want on the front. Ain't a rumour if it's already a fact. Tell you what though, I'll sleep on it. You're in date with Yasmin, hey? Or is that a rumour? I'll give you half. You're not going to like it. What's coming? Clear out of here. And we'll keep the name on the front. Keep the rumours alive. Georgia, get in here. No, keep that on. Take this. Go! Let's go grab some dinner. You really lost sight of everything since you got Isla killed. That was not my fault. You need a new business partner. Having a sidekick makes you vulnerable. How's your husband doing? You can't fix evil by giving the devil bigger horns. If you keep getting distracted by the other drivers, then you may as well jump in their car. Or you can show me that you still have some focus left. You'll need that. Tyler will take you. Take me? Where? We're closed. You already know that. Where's your moon squeeze at? My brother? Hunter is long gone. Ty? Did he just? You didn't hear that. Help me with this bag. We'll tell Yasmin you fired the shot. Hello, my love. Not wearing your ring. You don't want to be married to me anymore. Hunter and Georgia are in Cuba. Mira's keeping a close eye on Stella. Stella has her own mind. Why don't you flip a coin, my love? Heads, I take care of her. Tails. I think you know how that story ends. Don't you touch my daughter. You control the streets here. She's our bottom line. For the record, Stella's already flipped her calling. I'd get a move on. Don't you think she would want you to? He says, Stop with the don't you thinks. I'm not interested in riding with anyone else. Yeah, one day you might want to ride with somebody else. Drop it, Bennett. 
Look, I'm not being pushy. Well, you look sad. And you're bidding way too deep for one person to handle. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the perks of getting your friend killed. Now, if you could just leave me alone just for a minute, please. Sure thing, boss. Now let's try this again. You're clearly on the verge of a panic attack, and I'd like to know why. Tyler's decided to go AWOL, and you look different. Which leads me to believe that you're not okay. And if you're not okay, then I can't get shit done. Call me selfish, whatever. So please, talk. You almost had me there. I'm good. Tyler was doing the dodgy behind your back. So, you're welcome? As for the cash, well look, I gave it to a good dude who's gonna keep us out of trouble. And before you rip me another one, you've gotta trust me Ruth. So what? You killed someone. This, this is your guy though. It's different. I would've shot him myself if you had it. Let's say some assets didn't always make it to their destination. Tyler knew damn well to give that money to Ace. He said I was there to kill Ace. And did you? No, because... Your little stripper friend didn't look too pleased to see his face. It wasn't hard to put two and two together after that. Then why send me there? Because if my gut was right, your protective instinct would kick in. Figured as much, though. So you've replaced Tyler already. Who said she's a replacement? This is what you wanted all along, isn't it? I'm done. You always feel so entitled, don't you? To think that whatever move I make or whatever move anyone else makes, it's all about you. The world doesn't revolve around you, Stella. All I wanted was to have the career I dreamt of having as a little girl to serve in the army and to protect my country against, well, as it turns out, you. Couldn't even let me have my dream, could you, you narcissistic bitch? Let it go. Using and abusing everyone until they do what you want them to do. What an insecure little life you must hate. See you soon, Stella. Battle me inside my mind. Our shadows go, they don't define. In 2007, everything rearranged and changed. The life I knew torn to pieces and vital family walked away. It sucks that I felt safe with you and I let down my guard. Cause once upon a time, I would've turned to you to mend my broken heart. What's the point? Who am I kidding? None of that to you seem to matter. How does one teenage girl cause you to hate with so much anger? It isn't fair that you just bailed and nah, I ain't just talking about me. How does it really feel to walk away from your true blood family? I learned a scarred mind is harder to fix than a body mark with bruises. And let's face it, you only reach out to your mum when it suits you. Another year's gone by, still so easy to predict. 
You could have unmuted me years ago, said you chose to be a dick. You walked away without a trace, and I kept thinking. Late.